Secret Kitchen, Rhode Island style. Yeah. I'm here with uh, the uh, Jeffrey Ingber. We had the great day on the boat. We broke some down. What are we looking at right now, bro? We have a very nice dinner size uh, black sea bass filet right here. And we thought we'd do a little non-heat cooking, a little acid cooking, some ceviche. All right, here's a knife. Oh, thanks. Have a good time. Thank Up you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut the filet in half. So what we will do is we will cut the strips thin on an angle, okay, in order to cook them quicker in the acid. We'll put them in a bowl. So they're a very sharp knife right here. Mm -hmm. You're cutting that at an angle because surprisingly, uh, this is fish muscle. It also has a certain kind of grain. And when he cuts it at the angle and he cuts it really long like that, you have an, a, a huge amount of surface area for the acidity to actually cook the flesh. Nice. All that surface area. It's going to be covered with the acid. The acid, man. We're going to cook the fish in the acid, man. Fish is in the bowl. This is the lime. Any lime will do, preferably a fresh one with lots of juice. Squeeze the fun you out of it. You know all those, all those cuts I got on my fingers today I with know. hooks in my hand? Oh, man. I'm Weird. feeling it right now. That's all I can tell you. All right, we so, got cilantro. Now, how about a little bit of chili sriracha? Just a drop. There you go. Just a drop. How about an itsy bitsy teeny weeny bit of sesame oil? I'm gonna give us a little bit of crunch. Oh, fresh garden cu fresh, Kirby fresh, cucumber. Fresh cucumber. Got a little bit on, just like a drop of honey. Look, man, not only does he catch the fish, he cuts the fish and he cooks the fish. All right, I'm gonna take a piece. You're gonna take that, a piece. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is as fresh as it gets. I mean, you cannot beat it. Here's a beautiful uh, fresh fluke from this morning's trip. Uh, Captain Larry is going to show us how to break that fish apart right now. All right, so he's going to start with this line down the middle. The fish comes with a God-made guide as to where to make the, the uh, quote-unquote incision. This, I think, is our favorite fish to catch. They just taste so wonderful. They're very easy eating. We can make ceviche with them, we make sushi with them. You can pan fry them, you can bake them, you can deep fat fry them. Fish cooks very quickly. But another thing that I do sometimes when I'm at home is I'll just do a quick blackened, blackened anything. You can buy a blackened rub, there's a billion available. But if you really wanna go down to the nitty gritty, it's like 80 ingredients. You got some chili, you got some coriander, you got a little bit of cumin, you have uh, thyme, you have some oregano, maybe some mustard if you cheat a little bit. You have something called filet powder. Just buy the pre-made, but it's so easy. You don't have to do anything to it. You take this beautiful, beautiful fish, right? Beautiful fish, right? We're gonna take it just like this. You're gonna start with one of these, right? And all you're gonna do is just quickly. You're just gonna, you really, you wanna coat it. And part of what makes blackened seasoning so special is not necessarily the actual flavor of all the ingredients, but it's the flavor of all the ingredients on the fish when you burn them onto the flesh of the fish, AKA blackened. You just want to toast those spices. You want those spices. Blackened means that it's the, the toasted to the point before burnt and it's always it's just a great flavor profile. This is going to cook for another minute or two. Once you take it off the fire, it's going to reach up to a temp. But if you're starting to look at it and you can go like this, and just starting to flake away. Your fish is ready, bro. Squeeze a little bit of citrus. Usually I would do lemon, whatever. We got limes. Oh my God, it's been a fantastic day. I'm here with Jeffrey Ingber, Kosher Catch. He is one of the only, if not the only, kosher commercial fisherman in the country. You can tell by his bib, All right? This is true legit, true, true grip, right? We spent the day, we came back to Secret Kitchen, we made some fantastic dishes with these fish to really illustrate why it's so important to maybe know a guy, know a guy. If you have the opportunity or the chance to know a guy like this who can source you fish fresh out the water, even take you out the water and catch the fish, you should always have a chance to do it. Oh, 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 oh,